are you unhappy with your math curriculum or are you happy with it but just sort of wondering what's a little bit out there? You know, it can be a little confusing, can't it? Because we sort of get like inundated with a lot of different options. But I love options. Options are very helpful, especially when we have different personalities in our children, maybe different educational goals. It is really good that there is a variety out there. But it can be overwhelming when you see like, oh, here's this long list. And especially if you haven't been happy with your curriculum and you're wondering, "Eh, can I change my curriculum like right now, like partway through the school year? You know what? Yes. Yes, you can. And so let's today look at some different homeschool math curriculum this week and next. Hi, and welcome to Learning Life as we look at some different math curriculum today. You know what? I do like to look into curriculum, and I have done some videos on those, Uh, just a few of them. There are so many out there, and I know that like even when it comes to math, like as I said, we're going to do a two-part, like today and then like next video, but really... I could go for six months just looking at different math curriculum. It's sort of a little like, oh, there's a lot out there. Where do we start? Now, of course, we always start by asking our friends who are homeschooling, oh, what curriculum do you use? You know, and then like maybe we've tried it though and we're not happy. And is there anything else out there? This is like why I do like to like pop in now and then and review different curriculums. So if you have seen those videos, thank you so much for watching. And you know what? Thank you for your likes and subscribes. And hey, if you get something out of this video today, give me a thumbs up. You know, I'm not a huge, I was never, I should say, I was never a huge fan of math, like growing up. The older I am, there's more things that I do like that I'm like, these are the things I like about math and these are the things I don't. But I know that I want my children to have a good, solid foundation in math. I need them to be able to do mental math. I need them to be able to fully understand that what they've typed into the calculator might be wrong and where did they go wrong? You know, all of these different things. And so when it comes to curriculum, this is actually one that I have decided to go with as I unschool. We're doing a math curriculum because for right now, I know I want my girls to have that good, strong, solid foundation. I think we all agree with that. And so, you know, there's different educational goals we have like in mind, like, do I want it to be like, is it online or is it in books? Uh, Is it something that's more manipulative and hands on? Like, do I want them to be more independent or do I want more involvement with it? You know what? We have all of these different questions and you know, there's curriculum for all of that. And so I do want to look today at four different ones. Uh, These are ones that I either have taught or I have tutored children who are using them. And you know what? They're all good curriculum. You know, it's like sometimes it's hard. Like, do I want to give my opinion or not? Like, actually, yes. Three out of the four here, I don't really have. Yeah, yes, I would probably use and can and can move in around one of them. Like, I know it is it is solid, but it's not one that I would probably use. Totally okay. That's why we have different curriculum. So let's go ahead and look at them. Math you see. I do really like this one. I like it because it's different. Um, I like it because of the way that it is hands-on and it uses manipulatives. Remember those things that we move around to help with the concept um, throughout. You know, we don't just stop after the younger grades. You know, yes, we need to visualize. We need to see, hence math you see. And so this one is a little different in that it doesn't follow sort of traditional levels of a school sort of curriculum. Uh, It's not going by grades, but rather it levels up like within its concepts. And I like that. So if you have been doing a curriculum and you're not really sure where your child would be at, if you want to do math, you see, do the placement test, of course. Um, It's always good to do those placement tests if they have them available. Um, But it's just one of those ones that you just think, yes, like my children are getting a good foundation. They're able to visualize. They can then like apply it to other things. Now, the one little downside that I hear from people is that the workbooks are boring because they're just plain. 
you know what? It's black and white. It's okay. We can deal with a little bit of plain. It's really not the end of the world. And it's really nothing to turn you off this curriculum at all. You do need all the workbooks to really make this work. And the video lessons are important for the parents, you know, because we want to understand how things are being taught. We want to make sure that we are reinforcing these concepts well. So math, you see, is great for children that are kinesthetic, uh, that just, you know, need to have that hands on those visual spatial learners. This is all really good stuff. Now, the cost of math, you see, is around $200 for a level, um, including the manipulatives. So really, that's the, your biggest cost is your first time setting up with all those manipulatives. Um, but then after that, you get to use them all the way through. And it is a, a curriculum that you can use for other children. Singapore math. Now, Singapore math has been around for a long time. It actually has also come out with a common core version and the US version, which is usually known as primary math. Uh, this is one that I have taught a good, good curriculum, especially good um, and solid for those logical thinkers, those children that like to see how things move ahead in a progression. You know, again, the way it is taught is clear. The instruction is great. There is a placement test, but this is one because it wasn't designed with homeschoolers in mind for there to be a lot of parental involvement. You do need to teach the lessons. You don't want to skip that. Okay. Yes. You want to make sure that we are teaching it and then your children can practice. But again, you teach, they practice, you move on. This is a good solid curriculum for that. And um, the cost of that is around a hundred to 150. Um, you know what, if you didn't write in the workbooks, you can use them again. Okay, so there's different ways around it, but this is a curriculum that has won awards. Um, it is one that is just strong and solid. It is one that I do recommend. Saxon math. Again, this one, um, I know a lot of homeschoolers really do like Saxon math. Um, I also know that a lot of like private schools will tend to use this one too. But then I know some children like, no, don't make me do it. I'll get to that point why. Now, Saxon math originally came out from fourth grade and above. Um, since then, we've now got kindergarten to third grade, not written by the same guys, um, written by somebody else. And this one is very hands-on, uses a lot of manipulatives, which is great. Um, and like all the Saxon curriculum and something that you'll hear me say with others, it follows this spiral approach. What is a spiral approach? It's where we teach a concept, it's practiced, and then it's revisited later and you go more in depth. And then it's revisited later and you get more in depth. So we spiral down and get more in depth in what we are learning. Um, good and solid like with that. And so a good amount of review and practices, even in the kindergarten to third grade levels, it's very strong. You're looking at around $90 to $140, just depending on what you need to purchase per level. Well, then we move into Saxon, fourth grade and above. Um, this has been very popular for independent learning because the instruction is clear. You know, it is there. You can follow the steps. There are teaching videos available. Now, I know some kids have complained because it's just whiteboard and they feel it's a little boring. Apparently we need to, you know, revamp everything up and make it exciting, but it's very clear in its instruction and you can follow it. Um, the other one that really throws a lot of people is because there's lots of practice problems. Okay. Now this is where I would say as a parent, you can step in and go, all right, I see from these five, six problems that you can show me that you can do it, right? We can move on. You know, I'm not the type of person that says, well, because there's 30 problems, you need to do 30 problems. Um, that can be a way to really just drain our children. Do we really want that? I don't think so. So this is where kids will complain, no, not sex. And there's so much to do. But guess what? As a parent, you can say, oh, you've showed mastery. Great. Or do odds only, do evens only, only do half, you know, whatever it is that you say, ease up on that. But again, with lots of practice and review, you were going to get mastery. So you're looking at around $120 per grade level with this. But remember, you can reuse those textbooks uh, for other children in your family. Horizons. Horizons is uh, by Alpha Omega Publishing. Uh, this is a Christian curriculum, uh, kindergarten through sixth grade. And uh, no, this was one that you do have to teach. 
Okay, so if you do want to have that level of involvement, this can be like a really good one for you. It does have a lot of repetition and review and sort of followed that spiral method as well uh, to, to math. And so, yes, you are going to have to invest time to really make sure you understand it in order to be able to teach it. Manipulatives are used throughout, which is a good thing. Okay, I do really like to have that visual and hands on reinforcement of concepts that are being learned. And so uh, for Horizons, you're looking at around $90 per grade plus the manipulatives. And look, a lot of these manipulatives we can make at home, except really the Matthew C ones are great, but look around for those second hand as well as people have grown up out of using curriculum, we can often get a hold of like their specialized manipulatives. Now, as I said, all of these are good, good options. Um, I love Matthew C. I love Singapore math. And I'm even like, I'm good, like with sex and math. Horizons is one that I probably wouldn't use just in the fact that I honestly don't want to be so labor intensive as a parent, like with teaching math. I like to come and reinforce and not have to like fully teach everything. Um, but they're all good curriculum and they're not that expensive. They are doable. So if these are ones, you know, check them out more. I will put the links uh, to their different websites below and also on my website. Don't forget to check that out where I'll have these points and, and the links for you there. Um, and then check in next week. We're going to look at four more curriculum uh, that maybe can help you on this journey of finding one that is right for your family and works best for you that meets your educational goals. Well, thank you so much for watching today. Look forward to seeing you next time. And, you know, if you like to be part of these videos, you can. So, you know, you can do that by becoming a champion check that out at patreon.com or at my website, learningthis.life. <music>